coming for him. Of course, the college unit to the University of Oregon. AD counted and one as he challenged Porzingis. Big time rebounding first quarter for Anthony Davis. And he's going to go coast to coast and to end. And he's got another three-point opportunity waiting for him. Who's averages about 20 points. And their three-point shooting is atrocious. Three for 19. The lob, the jam, hello. On offense, Morris open for an instant, although AD was looming. Here comes Lonnie. Lonnie, good scoop over to Davis. Slam dunk with two hands. Eight and a half, LeBron with a head of steam again. Bounce to AD to lay it in. He'll get another and one opportunity. He misses the bunny. Oh, good move by Russ. Bounce to AD, can't finish. Gets it back, scores! Slam it down, big fella. See what AD Slam did it down. On, see what AD did on his second attempt. Another look at AD. This is the first one, but then he goes up with real aggression on the second one. And, that's his presence be heard. He was able to secure it. And that's the one part of the triple-double stats that has been down significantly this year. Anthony Davis, a 4-0. Put it on the board. How he's been scoring here in the fourth quarter. LeBron. LeBron goes for a drip. Up the ladder to get it. Throw it right down. Look out below. Now Russ with some speed, attacks, one on two, over to Davis, here comes 50, there's 50, there's the nickel. and one, <laughs> there's the nickel. Since then he's barely missed 19 of his last 23. Come on. <laughs> Underneath, he's got it again. 30 to 119, Lakers are now 10 and 12. Four and six on the road. Wizards, 11 and 13, eight and five. And his road trip, Steve. Uh, he is joining us now from the nation's capital. AD, it's Geeter, D. Fish, and big game. And to steal a line from Will Ferrell in old school, that's how you debate. <laughs> AD, check this out. Listen. That's a good movie. That's a great, that's a great movie, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I was feeling pretty good about that one. Uh, last Laker to go back to back. 40-point games, Kobe Bean Bryant in March of 2013. Health, mindset, locked in, Packers win, visit from Aaron Rodgers, whatever you want to call it. What has been uh, the turnaround for you these last, you know, month or so? Um, most importantly, just being healthy, um, going out with a mindset of just dominating. You know, uh, started off slow, you know, take a couple games to get, you know, in-game uh, shape, in-game rhythm. Um, and just been feeling really good, confident in all my shots, um, playing with a great pace. I mean, guys are doing a great job of finding me. You know, it's a team effort. These guys are setting me up, Brian Russ, Dennis, Pat, um, AR. Like, all these guys are putting, putting me in positions to, to be successful. So, um, you know, they're, they're helping out with that as well. But I think our entire team mindset is just coming out, you know, with an with a effort on both ends of the floor. You know, obviously, fourth quarter um, to start the fourth. Uh, you know, we were, um, took our foot off the pedal a little bit, but uh, we were able to get it back and secure a win. Um, you know, but you know, we're just coming out, you know, very focused, staying locked in and, and trying to make up ground. AD, big game here, man. Great game. You've uh, you've always talked about how you know your versatility and how you know you you're playing in the paint is dominant. Talk about how since you've been playing in the paint, dominated, how that's benefited the rest of the team, cutting, passing, getting uncontested shots, and how that's benefited the entire team. Well, um, it opens up the, the outside shooting. Um, you know, when I'm in the paint, obviously the guys got to collapse, two, three, four guys. Um, and it's opened up our guys for shots. And, you know, we just got to make them. And, you know, we shoot the ball very well right now. So um, I'm just trying to do my part, you know, do my part to help this team be successful. And, you know, the rest of the guys are doing theirs as well. So, um, you know, all of our guys is attacking the basket. You know, we're getting out of transition. We're getting stops. And, you know, we're playing fast, playing free, playing Laker basketball. And, you know, we continue to do this. We will be all right this year. AD is D Fish, man. Congrats again on a great game and, and another good road win. Uh, want to ask you, well, a lot of times the game, when things aren't working out, the game feels like it's sped up and it's disjointed and things are a little broken. Tell, tell the fans, like, is the game going in slow motion for you right now? Like, how are you seeing the frames, the defense, reading situations? It just really seems like you see it before it's about to happen and it's just great to watch on a nightly basis. 
Yeah, thank you. Um, it just comes within, you know, experience in the league. You know, my 11th year, um, things just starting to slow down for me, reading defenses, um, communicating on the floor with our other guys who, who handle the ball. Um, you know, just for example, like the last couple plays, you know, we knew Todd Gibson likes to blitz. Um, you know, some guys call it hedging um, and, and get out and, and try to put pressure in two on the ball. So, you know, I wasn't trying to set the screen and then Pat had come and set a back screen. Now I'm free, you know, with a, with a small um, under the rim. You know, just making reads and we just talking about it. You know, you know there's a lot of experience on the court, um, a lot of high basketball IQ. So, um, for for me, you know, like I said, it's just a rhythm thing. I've uh, been in a rhythm, um, not rushing, playing with a lot of, a lot of pace, um, and, and, and just trying to make the right reads, whether it's a shot or a pass. AD playing like an MVP. The team is 8-2 and two in your last 10. Go enjoy the Laker and Packer win, my friend, and thank you for uh, spending time with us. Thank you. There's been some more lineups this year with you and AD playing either with three guards or sometimes, you know, like Pat playing as a wing. Uh, what's the key defensively in those kind of constructs compared to, you know, like the 1920 team when you were often playing with bigger guys in those spots? Uh, keep guys in front of us and defensive rebound. That's always going to be the most important. You know, when it's me, AD with Russ, um, Dennis and Pat, or, you know, if it's, um, you know, Schroeder, uh, you know, uh, Pat Bev and either Lonnie or, or Austin. We have to keep guys in front of us, and we have to rebound. We have the defensive rebound. That's what's most important. And I think offensively, we're going to be we'll be pretty good because we have enough ball handlers out there. We have a big, um, well, a hybrid. He's not even. He's not, we have a hybrid uh, that could you know be all over the floor, and then it's my job to put guys in position, you know, especially late in game. And have you and AD figured out some? Not that you figured out, but like you know how to do it, but some different areas to start the screen roll. It seems like a little bit closer to the hoop uh, and just different sets. I don't know if it's working with each other or the coaching staff, but what have you seen? Uh, with me being, you know, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, you know, and being able to see the whole floor, you know, the closer you can get to the rim, it makes the, makes the offense run a lot, a lot easier. It uh, keeps the defense even more at bay. And uh, AD's ability to uh, either pick and pop um, or pick and roll or pick and slip. Um, and his, he got great hands, so I could throw it pretty much anywhere for him to go get it. Um, you know, so you know, we we always trying to figure out ways we continue. It's like a shift in terms of, hey, if AD's going to go out and grab it, it's like, hey, let's let's all line up behind him and LeBron included. Absolutely, and I've been putting AD's name on it since day one, um, and it, it does help Brian. Excuse me, it allows him to be more efficient with his energy, more efficient with his workload. Um, there's times where again. We can go through AD and just feed AD, feed AD, feed AD, and then we're not worrying about Brian having to, you know, be a world beater or trying to make plays through three or four people and Russ in the same boat, you know, not allowing him to be able to play more freer. Um, so, yeah, AD, and he wants it. He wants to be that guy. He wants to be the guy for the team. And um, I think it's beautiful to watch because his teammates, they're encouraging him. They're trying to give him the ball. Any and every possession, um, and it's it's been it's just been cool, man. They, they, he he has everyone rallying around him, and just thrilled by the way he's been playing. Um, sticking a little bit on that, but also narrowing his jump shot. I mean, the, at the start of this run, it seemed like the defining trait was he was scoring in the paint, going to the rim. The last two games, especially, he's really kind of found his range again. Is that a confidence thing? Is that a form thing? Is that a rep, rep it out thing? What, what have you observed? I think it's all of the above. Right? And, and, and again, I think the confidence comes, once again, I can't stress it enough, him being healthy. And not just healthy, but him being in great, getting in great, great tip-top shape and being able to play pain-free. And then once, you know, once you're in that space physically, his game speaks for itself. I mean, he's just a that's people hadn't seen it in a while because you know he's dealt with different injuries, but now they're seeing it, and it's nothing that he's added. He's always been able to shoot deep, always been great on the post, great at the elbow jump shot, great going to the rim. Um, I'm encouraging him to get the defensive rebound and push it in transition more. Uh, just explore, just explore his game, all every facet of his game, and. You know, his teammates are feeding off of it. They draw energy from that. So uh, it's, it's been great. It's, it's really helped our ball club. We wouldn't be in the position we're in right now without him playing. That.